So guys, first you want to head over to the link which I'll leave down below in the description. We're going to be downloading Melon DS. So you want to click on Downloads. And now you want to scroll down. And you can get it for either Windows, Linux or Mac. So I'm going to be getting it for Windows. Now it's downloading. Now we have it here. So I'm just going to right click, click on Show and Folder. Now I'm going to go to my desktop. And now I have it here in a zip file. So now for the second step, you want to download 7-zip. I'm also going to leave a link down below for this. You want to download it for either 32-bit or 64-bit, whichever one you have. If you want to check which one you have, you want to head over to search and then type in system information, click on it. And then next to system type, it will show you what you have. So for me, I'm on 64-bit, so I want to begin a 64-bit one. Now I'm going to install it. Click on yes. And click on install. Now it's been installed. So now we have our zip file. I'm just going to delete this. So now you want to right click on Melon DS zip file. And then you want to click on show more options. Click on 7-zip. And then click on extract here. Now it's been extracted. I'm just going to drag it to my desktop. And now I'm just going to right click. New. Click on folder. And now you want to drag Melon DS into this folder. Now we're going to open up Melon DS. And now you're going to have some new files. So that's why I said to drag it into the folder. Now once you're on this, I made it full screen by the way, you want to click on config and then click on video settings. I recommend going with OpenGL and then setting this to at least 8 times. And if you're getting screen tearing, click on vSync. And of course you can play around with all the settings and see what's best for you, but these are my settings. And you'll see how good it looks later on. Now you want to click on OK. Now you want to click on config again and then click on MU settings. Click on DS mode and now here you can set your BIOS and your firmware files. Now for me personally, I did not even have to do this. So I think it just depends on what game that you're trying to play, but for the games that I play, I did not have to do this. And I can't show you how to do this anyway, you have to find it on your own. Now we're going to set up a controller if you have one. So click on config, and then click on input and hotkeys. Now for the proofread that you want to use, you want to make sure that it says it's up here. So it might actually say for you, keyboard mappings. If you want to use a controller, make sure that it says joystick mappings. And vice versa, if you want to use a keyboard, make sure that it says keyboard mappings. And now you could just set which button is which. So let's say that I want to change my Y button on the Nintendo itself. I'm going to click once, and then I'm going to click on the button that I want it to be on my controller. And then do the same thing for all of them. And then obviously with the keyboard mappings, it's the same thing. And now you're going to click on general hotkeys, and you can do the same thing here. So here's your keyboard mappings, here's your joystick mappings. The exact same thing that I just showed you earlier on, you're going to do it here. You have a bunch of options such as toggle FPS limit, toggle full screen, fast forward, etc. And I click on OK. Now we're going to open up a game. So you're going to head over to file, and then click on open ROM. And now you want to select where your ROMs are. So for me, it's right here. I'm just going to choose for this tutorial Platinum, which is the best Pokemon game. Click on it. And now it's going to load up. Okay, that is way too loud. Okay, so now once you have your game loaded up, if you want to make it like horizontal, you want to click on Config, and then click on Screen Layout, and then click on Horizontal. And then that's how you do it. Leave a like, subscribe yourself.